Welcome to Seven Pot Club. I'm Rob. I grow hot peppers. Soon, outdoor growing season will be over in Minnesota. Until next spring, we'll be doing all our gardening indoors and we'll need good lighting. Today I'm going to take a look at the new Sansi 70 watt daylight LED grow light. Sansi was nice enough to send me this light for free so that I can demonstrate it for you. I've reviewed the specs and I'm very interested to check it out. As always, thanks for liking, subscribing, and tapping the bell to receive notifications. Now, let's get started. Amazon just slapped a shipping label right on the box the light comes in instead of placing it inside another box. That's kind of unusual for something so small, but I'm all for eliminating unnecessary packaging. So I hope it's arrived safely. Let's open it up. Inside, we have the light, which has a uh, permanently attached cord with uh, an inline switch. There is some printed material and mounting hardware. There are various mounting options, so you can hang it with a hook, you can loop the wire around a rod or cable, or you can mount it directly to a surface using the attached bracket. My first impression is that it's very solidly constructed. The 12 LEDs are encased in ceramic, which has better heat dissipation than aluminum, and the case is very well vented to allow good airflow. I love that there's no need for a noisy fan on this light. This is a full spectrum light that produces a white light meant to closely emulate daylight, as opposed to the LED grow lights many of us are used to, which use a combination of red and blue elements to produce a very unnatural looking purplish glow. It's also claimed to be waterproof, and even the switch is in case so that moisture can't get in. I have no plans to get it wet, but this light appears to be very similar to some of the outdoor floodlights Sansi also manufactures. A lot of the Chinese made grow lights you find on Amazon are from companies that are here today and gone tomorrow. One thing I really appreciate is that Sansi is a respected and well-established company that's been around for 25 years. They make many types of lighting and display products. Sansi offers a five-year warranty on this light, which is a good indication they're willing to stand behind their product. Okay, time to bring this inside and fire it up. The light is very bright. Don't do what I did and look directly at it while turning it on. You may see spots. Before we measure the light intensity, let's plug it into the kilowatt and see how much power it draws. 46 watts seems pretty reasonable and is much less than any of my other hanging grow lights. Now, let's see how much light it emits. I'm using the hook option for hanging and I have the light positioned 24 inches above the surface of the table. Let's measure how much light it puts out. The caveat here is I'm just using a phone app that measures total light intensity. I don't have a PAR meter that measures how much of that light is actually usable by plants. When the phone's front camera is directly under one of the lighting elements, it registers between 237 and 240 foot candles. And of course the brightness drops off as you move farther away. This reading is very similar to two older lights I have. One reads 222 and the other 227 foot candles at two feet. However, each of those lights use about twice as much energy. One uses 97 watts and the other 94 watts compared to the 46 watts of the Sansi light. I don't know if it's because the light itself is more efficient or if it's because it doesn't have an energy consuming fan. In any event, an energy savings of 50% is pretty impressive. That's my brief review of the Sansi 70 watt LED grow light. I'm going to start out using it for my overwintered plants, then later I think it's going to be perfect to light the young seedlings I'll be growing over the winter to plant outdoors next spring. If you want more technical detail, please take the time to check out Peter Stanley's excellent review of this light. There's going to be a link to his review in the video description. And if you'd like to purchase or learn more, you'll also find an Amazon link in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, 
please subscribe to our channel and tap the bell to receive a notification each time we post a new episode. If you're interested in hot pepper themed apparel, stickers, magnets, or buttons, please head over to sevenpot.club slash merch to learn more. And for even more Seven Pot Club, follow our daily exploits on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. For Seven Pot Club, I'm Rob.